When disasters such as the intense flooding in Henan province strike, often our natural human instinct is the desire to help. In America, when these natural disasters occurred, I remember seeing news on every television calling for volunteers or donations, hearing about donation centers, hotlines, and websites to aid in disaster relief. But here in China, I haven't seen a lot of calls to action like this. One of the reasons, obviously, is I'm not fluent in Chinese. But after talking with my Chinese colleagues, I gained a better understanding of how China responds to disasters. In this video, I'll share with you what I've learned about the resources the Chinese government provides, how those in need get help, what role the media plays, and how the rest of us can support disaster relief efforts. The Chinese government was quick to mobilize human resources to the area. In addition to local fire, police, and rescue teams, a vast number of soldiers were sent to Henan. These individuals are affectionately called Zidabing, or People's Army, who are members from all branches of the armed services, including reserves. About 5,700 soldiers, armed police officers, and militia personnel have been mobilized to support the disaster relief work in Henan as of Wednesday afternoon. The Ministry of Emergency Emergency management also dispatched 1,800 firefighters from neighboring provinces to assist. And on July 21st, President Xi Jinping urged all-out efforts to carry out flood prevention and rescue work to protect people's lives and property. This rare rainstorm caused much damage to telecom systems in Henan. The Wing Long, an unmanned aerial vehicle, was dispatched to the site on July 21st to provide stable and continuous mobile signals. China's National Health Commission has also dispatched a working group to instruct and assist on-site medical response teams. Now, no government has unlimited resources, and mobilizing and organizing people and supplies takes time. Where there is additional need, the media, private organizations, and volunteers step in. Media have opened emergency channels for those requiring immediate assistance due to the flood. Those in need also take to social media, sometimes pleading for aid and sometimes applauding those who've risked their lives to save others. In the private sector, large organizations which have charity foundations are accepting donations for flood relief. The people first philosophy is really evident in China in the face of disaster. The swift government response, the number of resources and individuals who have joined together to help ensure people get safe and get the care they need, it's always inspiring. We know there are still rescue efforts underway and we know it will be a long road of recovery. But we also know that at the heart of any disaster are people who desire to help. Please research donation options and if you have the means to give, please do. 加油，河南。